Okay. Number six. Awnings are f- Awnings are awesome. That's what I should have done. That should have been the title, <laughs> shouldn't it? Yeah. Awnings are, Awnings are awesome. awesome. Oh, did you have you already done the title? Is this live or something? No, this is not live. <laughs> no, I will make it will be Awnings are awesome. Yeah. So we got the Camper Rally 260, not the Pro because we're cheapskates, the polled version because we're cheapskates, um, for a couple of hundred quid. It's two, don't worry, two metres and 60 centimetres wide, which is just right for our little caravan. Mm. I mean, it's technically a porch awning, but it, to us it's a full awning because it, 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 you know, it, it just goes to behind me here. So it covers about two thirds of the caravan at least maybe three quarters and it's been great hasn't it yeah mm-hmm. it has we even put it up this time pub. we're away now it's the 23rd of october now Is it? oh yes drawing closer to and Halloween. you know maybe closer. when the weather's like this it might have been wiser not to put it up because of course it's wet now mm. even though the weather's nice the condensation makes it wet also, but it was still handy to have somewhere to put everything mm. so that when you are in of course we had to shut the door and get indoors earlier because it was because it goes dark earlier and it goes cold earlier Very but cold. with all of our stuff outside in the awning it meant that we could shut the doors and not yeah. feel like we were claustrophobic or anything you know, it was it was really pleasant i'm the awning's probably been the most important addition that we've made and the most to the um and the most um useful because one time um i was with my friend harvey and um he said he came to us to for a sleepover not here at my house and um his mum was going over to see his nan um and then he was he had, he was staying for ages he stayed for ages he stayed for like five fifty days he, so he was only supposed to stay for two days at my house but then um he, he wasn't he decided he was gonna stay for three more days on the caravan and it was it was very exciting we both stayed in the awning if it wasn't for the awning then we couldn't the, have done it we couldn't have done it no the, so that no, was no. that the first time we put the awning up it was the second no we put it up no, for your parents we put it up yeah. for yeah but it was the first time we'd been out with the so awning it, i think you know it, it did its job immediately it takes yeah. me about 40 minutes to get it up and most of that is pegging out um, and I'm now doing it in the right order, more or less, and getting decent results. You know, there are lots of awnings you can get. Some of them are huge. Some of them double the size of the caravan, and that is fine. But our little awning, for a couple of hundred quid, it's has, fine. I mean, if we'll, 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 we've got plans for next year, mm-hmm. and we would not be making those plans if we didn't have an awning. No. Because we couldn't, if we're going to go away for longer, you've got to have that extra space. Anyway, that was there number six. There we go, six. Are fab. That was Don't number six, tea, now on to number on. seven. Gas lasts for flipping ever. Yeah, now this might appear to be a bit of an obsession of mine. <laughs> but it does, doesn't it? I mean... It does. Last night, we had the fire on for hours, and I said, aren't you worried about the gas running out? <laughs> 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 it was okay, because we, ele- we bought a new electric kettle yesterday, I would have been more worried about the gas running out if we were going to then rely on making a cup of tea with the gas this morning. Mm. But because I knew I could get my my morning fix electrically wise, I didn't worry so much. But we've so we put that six kilogram one on before. Well, no, we had been out, hadn't we? We'd been out with the other one. We were worried the other one. We've got a three point nine kilo one, which the cat van oh, yeah. came with. And every time we used that, we were waiting we, for it to run we out. We expected, you know, halfway through frying some bacon, it would run out, and halfway so when, through anything. When Peter's parents were going to be in it for a few days, we mm. thought we'd better just replace it because, you know, sod's law being what it is, it would run out halfway through that week when they were in it. So we got the six kilo one. Well, that was in May. May was it and we've been out most of the days we've had this year have been since then I guess we've probably had well we'll work it out but it's probably about 17 or 18 days since then Mm. and we have used it heavily the last couple of days Mm. we've had the heating on a lot Um, and I mean I don't know how much is left I know it's not really that easy to tell but we now know that a six kilo um, bottle of gas lasts a whole year for us easily I mean, we, it may still be half full for all we know in fact our plan is to when it runs out re- put the 3.9 kilo one back in 
so that it's less Let's heavy see on the how front. How much is left in there? Well, <laughs> no, no, I get it swapped because there can't be much left in there. Oh. I just get a new full one, and then we've knocked several kilos off the nose weight straight away yeah. for no for no loss, and just carry the one around. Mm. So that was number seven. On to number eight. It is toasty warm, like peanut butter and everything else toast. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything that went with peanut butter. Like peanut butter toast all season. Yep, so it was cold. Last night was the coldest night we've had in the caravan. Mm. I haven't looked yet, but it, it would have been low single figures. Obviously, we've got an old caravan. It's 22 years old. It won't have the best insulation. doesn't have the best heating. Although it was helped by the fact that I discovered. I hadn't realised. I knew I had blown air heating. Oh, I thought you were going to tell the other story then. Go on. <laughs> no, blown air heating. <laughs> I actually don't know what you're talking about, Mum. Would I knew it had blown air heating. Us? Yeah. But I didn't know that you could turn the little vent on there to... I'd, it had been basically shut all this time and I thought it was rubbish. It turned out when I opened the little vent thing, it came... Gushing out. Gushing out. It was lovely. But also, um, the temperature inside the caravan is greatly affected by whether you leave any roof vents open because it was really warm when we got here Kev was in a t-shirt he stripped off two layers to put the awning up and it was really warm so we had the roof vent open and then this morning two freezing nights later we realized that the roof vent is still open yep that will not have helped <laughs> it wouldn't have helped in any way it wouldn't have helped with the with the amount of noise that it was making that first night with the gusts of wind <gasps> half of that still on there. was because it was blowing in through the vent Mm. Can't believe. So I was just making a cup of tea while Peter was still warm in bed, and um, you noticed it, didn't you? No, we I we did. cracked open the blind, you know, the blackout blind over the roof vent. <laughs> I spotted blue sky. So I was I was absolutely <laughs> freezing the first night because I didn't have enough. But I put extra layer on last night, so I was fine except for the bits of me that were exposed. Mm. And it turns out it was because <clears> I had the roof vent open. <laughs> but we've been oh, really fine. lucky o of all the trips out we've had with the caravan it's only rained on us twice i think kev put the awning up in the rain on our mm. last trip out because it's so helpful having the when it when the weather is worse it's helpful having somewhere where the dogs can get dry before before they come in and somewhere to hang your coats and towels mm. and things up um, but the weather has been very kind to us this year. Yep. In fact, sometimes it's been a bit too kind because there was one trip out in the summer where it was just too hot to be in the caravan and too hot to do anything. So that was a, yeah. uh, you know, it was, you had to sort of wait until tea time before you started playing badminton or anything because it was too hot. Just to be clear, we're not complaining about that. No, no. Oh, well, I wasn't there. I was at work. Because it was, right, you know. Yeah. It was a the weather fabulous was, summer. The weather has been great this year. But um, yeah, it can, and also when it's when it's very hot, like upper twenties, it's quite hard to keep everything that you need to keep cool, cool. Yeah. Although I mean, the fridge did surprisingly well, didn't it? Oh, the fridge is all things excellent. considered. When you think yeah. that it was, you know, as you say, it was over thirty degrees in here in that hot period, mm. and the fridge was absolutely fine. It was, but it's things like um, carbs that you wouldn't normally mm. keep in the fridge. But if it's really hot, you might want to, yeah, there isn't and you can't fit them in. But um, when you think about it, it's coped with both extremes of weather really well because yeah. it's a twenty-two-year-old caravan. The hot water works perfectly. Mm -hmm. The heating works perfectly, the fridge and the is fridge excellent. works perfectly. So, mm. well done to Eldis. We even had ice creams in the fridge on one trip out, didn't we? Mm. Yes. Just we thought we had two spare. We'd gone and bought them and eaten them. Had two spare and put them in the freezer compartment just to see if it if they would stay frozen, and they did. So now we know. So on to number nine. That was number eight. On to number nine. Caravan folk are generally friendly, apart from that grumpy old sod living across you in the caravan, booming out music like an annoying person. Mhm. Mm not that that happens very often, has to be said. If ever. Um, so we, I mean, we've got limited experience. We've only been to three different sites this year. Oh. <laughs> three, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, three. Um, so that's one, two caravan and motorhome club and one caravan, camping and caravan club. And uh, the staff have been brilliant. We haven't had any, any issues at all Lovely with the staff. Lovely staff. Really? Um, yeah. Have we had any issues with staff? The people of Winchester. Chichester. Chichester. 
Yeah, that wasn't this year. We're that talking wasn't about 2018. This year. That was last year, and they weren't grumpy. We've it had was some just not child friendly. We had some issues at the camping and caravan club site at Chichester, where um, you know they're not very child friendly. Let's put it. We didn't find them very child friendly. There was some silliness, some real silliness. But you know Stupidity. that's in the past. We're talking about 2018. Now. In general, everyone's lovely. Um, the other the other people here are great. Um, I think. I speak for all of us in saying that we like family friendly sites uh, and we like to doesn't? be here when other families are here um, you know during the school holidays and such like mm. so but overall yeah everyone's been lovely <laughs> it was so country. funny last night there wasn't it when that camper van was trying to was it a camp no a caravan was pulling into a spot opposite us and then the woman got out of the car and immediately got back in the car and they went off to find a different spot yeah. and initially Kev thought it was because we're quite close to the play area here you can probably hear children screeching in the background but then this morning we looked at the state of the front of our caravan it was very mucky and grubby and we decided perhaps they didn't want to park next to no, us it was, I don't know how that <laughs> happened actually I mean I cannot I came back from from the the toilets and I looked at the th I barely recognized my own caravan <laughs> because it was so grubby on the front I, I I mean, it must be that it was like that when we got here. I think it was it was dusty. I think there was a lot of yeah, dust from the, the summer on the front, and then where it had got wet, it had darkened. But actually, it all I do think those the particular people we're talking about, they had. I'd watched them reverse in. You know the sort of thing you do on a caravan <laughs> site. You watch other once you have once you've managed to successfully do it, and yeah. you're feeling complacent. Um, you don't mind watching other people struggling to do it. And this bloke had gone backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards to mm. go into a space. And he finally got it straight, and he was just about to unhitch, and his wife got out of the car, pointed to past our, it was actually past our caravan, I heard the, sure. at the children, and they got back in the car and took it elsewhere, <laughs> and went like three pitches down. But, I mean, you know, it, it, it takes all sorts. I love the sounds of the, the children playing. Um, it go, gives the place a bit of life, I think. And it also covers up the noise that we make, so which is ideal. So, yes, we have, we've been really pleased. Everyone seems to be lovely. Hmm. That was number nine. On to number ten. We want to do more next year. So we will. We will do a separate video on our plans for twenty eight nineteen when we have formalised them a bit. But this year we reckon we've done, as I said, we've done about three weeks worth of caravanning. Next year I can confidently predict it will be significantly more than that. We may even do three work weeks in one go. You never know. So that's it from us. We're about to pack up and go from our last day of caravanning mm. in 2018 which is all a bit of a pity really but there you go you can't help the weather can you mm. so that's our 10 things that we've learned about caravanning in 2018 uh, which has been marvellous or well, 10 of them there are other things including ham don't pack ham <laughs> i always used to pack ham <laughs> because i thought somebody <laughs> would want ham okay but nobody cares we never ate the ham. Always took the ham home again, so I never bring ham now. Don't pack ham. Top tip for 2019. Because <laughs> if you don't pack, but if you don't pack it, someone's bound to ask, aren't they? Mm -hmm. That's the trouble. So those are those are ten things that we learned in 2018. Um, so from us in Jackson on our last adventure in the caravan of 2018. Looking forward to 2019. From Kev, Dizzy, Peter, <laughs> Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> it's goodbye. Goodbye. As a bonus, we're on, we're on our way back, taking Jackson back for the last time this year. Number eleven in our list of ten things that we've learned about caravanning in 2018 is that we can tow. And because we deal. are, in fact, at the moment. There he is on the back. There he is. I would not say. It's an enjoyable experience, but it's okay. And when we have the right car, which may or may, may happen next year, you never know, then I'm sure it'll be even better. But, yeah, that's the big question we need an answer in 2018. Are we prepared to tow? And the answer, yes. yes. When we started, we thought we were just swapping the stress of pitching a tent in the pouring rain for the stress of towing a caravan but actually it's we've got used to it yeah and peter will be towing next year yep hope so hope so <laughs> i love driving on site i love rooksbury because it's quite a long drive to get off rooksbury and i drive till we get to the barrier 
and it's quite enjoyable. Um, cope with five miles an hour, no problem at all. <laughs> You're the only one who was doing five miles an hour. Yeah, I, I displayed exemplary driving at Rooksbury today. Okay. okay then, so that's our summary yep. of ten things we've learned this year. Plus one. We can tow and don't pack any ham. See you in 2019. Bye. 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 number eight on to number nine caravan folk are generally friendly apart from the grumpy old sword living across you who's always booming out music from his caravan no that wasn't a caravan oh when i'm was not that? talking about a real life situation mum oh do you want to do that one again yeah let's do that one again so number nine random that was number eight on to number nine caravan folk are generally friendly apart from that person oh Okay, one more time. One more time. This isn't going to be like the last time. You can cut these bits out and put it cut. in the bloopers. That was number eight. On to number nine. Caravan folk are generally friendly. Apart yes, from they that are. Grumpy old sod. Mum! We're not doing you a grumpy old sod. What are you talking about? Yes, we are. What grumpy old sod? <laughs> this is not a real life situation. I'm just making a joke. Now, Mum, do not prove it not this time. Mm. Let me do it. Yeah, let me do it. George. So that's our ten. So that's the ten things we've learned about caravanning. At least ten of them. There's probably a lot more than that. Lots of more. Lot of smaller stuff. Yeah, like don't pack ham. Mm -hmm. I always don't used to pack, pack ham. Mammals. I always thought someone would want the ham sandwich. We never eat the ham. Didn't did bring ham one. today. What do you think Kev wanted for his pack lunch? It wasn't only because it'd been difficult. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's our. That's ten things that we learned in 2018. So from us from Jackson on our fast last trip oh, <laughs> our last fast it did go fast actually to be fair it's goodbye from Kev Peter and George bye. and Glenn and Glenn and Izzy bye. bye oh hold on let's get her in <laughs> don't want to go on YouTube newfangled technology <laughs> hey Dizzy yeah.